Good evening, happy Monday. It is Math Monday. I am, as always, Professor Cunningham. This is the channel where I try to take mathematical concepts from kindergarten all the way up through high school and beyond and break them down in a way that makes them more accessible and um, especially uh, especially more accessible for those folks who maybe didn't have such a great time in math when they were kids or when they were teenagers, and maybe they now have kids or teenagers themselves that need support. That's what I'm here for. So um, what we're going to cover today is, and we're going to jump right into it. I'm not going to do any sort of, of um, off-topic stuff like I often do at the beginning of these streams, because we're going to be talking today about fractions. And fractions tend to be a spot where a lot of folks have their first really big wall or hurdle that they have to scale. And depending on their learning style and their teachers and their experiences, some folks never actually fully make it over that, that very, very first hurdle. And it's easy to understand why. There's, there's a lot going on with fractions, and we're going to talk about it a lot. Um, hopefully, what I can do is take fractions away from being a very complicated thing involving all sorts of very intricate rules that you use here and there, and you have to get a common denominator here, and you have to do this there, and you have to invert here. I'm hoping that instead of going through all of those sort of very formulaic rules that I learned when I was a kid, what I'd like to do is instead try to help you understand more intuitively what fractions actually are, what they represent, and why they work the way that they do. Now, the first thing I'm going to recommend um, before I switch over to the Khan Academy view, and I should probably turn down my volume just a touch. There we go. The one thing I'm going to do uh, before I switch to the Khan Academy view is I am going to recommend you take a look at my uh, video. It's called something like fractional linguistics. It's a it's in it's in I think the basic um, pre-algebra playlist on my channel at professor-cunningham.com. Um, I will try to remember to put a note right here for the YouTube VOD, but it gives an idea as to why the numerator is called the numerator and not just the top of the fraction, and why the denominator is called the denominator and not just the bottom of the fraction. And we're going to talk about that a bit, but I want to um, I want to point you in that direction because I think I did a pretty good job of explaining in that one. So without further ado, 